from Community Therapy. We're here at Alpha Life Care today. I'm with Gavin and we're looking at a, a mattress. What have we got here today? Thanks, Scott. Yeah, thanks for the introduction. This is a Care of Sweden mattress. It is called the Area Zone. Uh, Curacell is the brand. Uh, Area Zone, so very great pressure care mattress. We'll refer to this as a self-adjusting pumpless mattress. So we have high pressure care, but we don't have a pump. Now, obviously lots of mattresses don't have pumps. Um, but the question mark is, is it enough pressure care? And with this one, it is a very high pressure care. Sorry, high pressure care. Um, manufacturer says it's for prevention and treatment of up to grade three pressure injuries, okay. which is pretty good, considering yeah. you don't need to worry about a pump and the pump related problems. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So with pressure area mattresses, lots of considerations from an occupational therapy point of view, like what you're saying. And one of those pieces is if, you are having to look after a pump and adjustments and um, it's just another thing for the person, their loved one or their care team to look after as well. So having further advancements in um, equipment technology um, to have that self-adjusting is wonderful. And, and that's a piece of clinical reasoning there for occupational therapists of looking when prescribing a particular type of product is there any implications in the maintenance of that product or any adjustment? So that would be a clinical reasoning consideration here for an occupational therapist of one, does this meet the requirements of the grade of pressure area um, injury that someone is living with or their pressure area risk? And two, is there some maintenance um, or some um, limitations in somebody being able to maintain um, a product such as something that's an air pump and considering that and this would be something we could then think about. Yes, yeah. so it's a, it's, a, it's a low maintenance mattress which is obviously great especially where you don't have capacity to get great service for repairs and maintenance because not sure if anyone knows when an air mattress breaks down but it's generally about 15 minutes before the close time of the occupational therapist <laughs> on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. um, so. Maintenance is always a challenge and then you've got to go, if you're in a rural area or a regional area where your power may be um, not consistent, um, where you have where your area where there's a lot of storms yeah. and takes the power out, obviously an air mattress doesn't work when it do doesn't have power. Um, if you've got a dog that likes jumping on the mattresses, it's got a great chance of putting a hole in it. So there's lots of things that um, rely around the fact that an air mattress has, an air, has air and has a pump, um, which are great systems but if you can get away without having the maintenance mm. issues, then that's a great benefit. Unique thing about this mattress as well is the cover is machine washable and tumble dry. Um, it's got your welded seam, so infection control is great. Uh, underneath we have a black layer that just holds the whole thing together. Yep. And then we've got our, high, our HR foam. So you can see that that's profile cut, smaller cutouts under the lighter weight of the body, and then going up into the bigger solid area underneath the backside and the yep. centre where the heaviest yep. part of the person so is. I can see there's smaller blocks of foam down here and then like you're saying there's bigger blocks of foam. Correct, yeah. Yep. So that's where the most amount of the patient's weight is and that's where we're trying to give a bit of support um, and not allow them to sink in too much which makes it difficult for transfers. Yep. Yep. Not being able to see the other side other than the foam, is there any other layers? Yeah, so when we pull back this layer of foam, the unique thing about this particular mattress is we have a system of cells under here which are self-adjusting and they're air and foam filled. Um, so when the patient gets in, the, there is a valve in here that allows air to leak out. The bigger the person, the more air they displace. When the pressures in the cells neutralise, the valve closes and it has self-adjusted to the client. So the good thing about it is there's absolutely zero human intervention here. Mm. You just pull it out of the box, pull it out of the bag, put it on the bed and sleep on it. There's no touching, you don't put air in it. It's got a one-way valve at the other end that sucks air back in when the patient gets off. Um, so it's self-adjusting to the client. Minimum user weight 30 kilos, maximum 230. Okay. It's a great weight range as well. Yeah, wonderful. And then how, do, how does an occupational therapist usually engage or trial this product? Yeah, so it is available for a trial period. Um, and we typically do a one-week trial period. Um, but it's a great way to get the client on. Everybody knows that getting a new mattress, you often don't sleep well the first night. So it's not a bad way to actually get on the mattress, trial it for a few nights, find out if it's helping your pressure care and if it's helping with your, your sleeping as well. It's got a solid core perimeter, so it's great to test your transfers, see yep. if your transfers can be improved. Um, and then it's also got another feature down here, which is what we refer to as the heel slope. 
You probably can't see it from there, but the mattress actually tapers There's off a slight slope, and yeah. gets thinner, yes. So what that's doing is moving the weight of the heel, um, taking it off the heel and moving it back up onto the calf, which is not as high pressure risk area. So yep, yep. So good for, pressure care. for non-health professionals watching, the heel is quite a sensitive area with um, not a lot of um, subcutaneous fat between skin and the actual bony prominence. And then if that's just sitting on a surface, that can be quite a common area for a pressure area. So being able to offload that, so if this was my heel, having most of the pressure actually sitting across the calf where bony prominences are well hidden, so the tibia and the fibula are actually more towards the front of um, the lower leg, and you're sitting predominantly just on uh, muscle through yeah. the calf. Yeah, so that's wonderful. That's good, and then it can also come in king single. Yeah, okay. So uh, many many mattresses only come in the single size, and when you go to a king single, you have to put it in a foam surround. Yeah. Um, but this does actually come in a full genuine king single size, and they're in stock and also available for trial. Scott. Yeah. So this mattress is sitting on an adjustable bed, so confirming that this mattress is able to move on an adjustable bed. Yes, yeah, certainly. And the fact that all these layers actually show that it doesn't stick to yeah. any layer. Um, the foam is in a netting, so it's the, all these layers actually reduce the shear yeah. shear factor as well when you're adjusting the contouring bed. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Anything okay. else you'd like to cover? No, that's that's about it. Um, but it's it's just a good all rounder. Um, and you said that you love this mattress. I do. Yes, I have been. I, I do admit I am a bit obsessed with this mattress. Yeah. But without a pump, it's less phone calls you're going to give us, and yeah. less phone calls to your team as well. Yeah, so. and it's just you know, and often it's. You start to love a product because clients have loved that product. Yes, yeah. yes. So when people have good success stories and they find that, oh my God, this is so comfortable and it, it's really, one, my, my, if I'm living with a pressure area, that's getting better. Um, but if somebody ha is a higher risk of developing pressure areas, maybe they're um, not moving around as much, spending most of their time in bed, Finding that comfortable bed is life-changing. Being able to sleep easier and not have pain is you start to hear those stories coming through from clients saying, thank you so much, and you're like, okay, I really love this product as well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what happens. You hear some clients that just go, oh, I have not slept like this yeah. for X number of X period of time. And it's yeah. a great relief, to be honest. Yeah. To be able to get something out there and have a great result like that. Yeah, wonderful. All right, if you've got any questions about pressure areas and mattresses, feel free to reach out. But I think we've covered a lot in this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.